Alright, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how I made $500 in about two days in profit from painting a house. Um, most of the time painting a house, the profit is going to be much higher, but there's a reason as to why it was $500 um, and I'll show you guys exactly why. Also, I'm going to show you guys exactly what paint gun I used, how much the paint costs, and basically the overall, the square foot of the house. And just a general idea of um, how much work this is going to take if you want to start painting houses. So as you probably know, a lot of my stuff, the way I try to make money is online, because you can scale it. Um, but I never turn down work that's, you know, physical labor and if I can do it. So the painting thing, I've never done before. This is my first time doing it. And uh, basically I just figured it out. Again, like I said, I try to make money online, but I do like working like physical labor. So um, I took up the job. Uh, the cost is actually relatively low. So the house probably is about, I think it was about 2,000 square feet. The paint was $600 in total and then the paint gun was $400 which I'll actually put up on the screen right now um, so in it a thousand dollars without any labor um, and then I did pressure wash it beforehand so the pressure washer is about 200 bucks so 1200 bucks to paint an entire house and it looks so much better I'm gonna throw some pictures up on the screen of the before um, and then I'll throw up the after ones right now you can see the difference just painting a house, you know, 1200 bucks makes a huge difference. It makes it look like a new house. So um, definitely worth it. And uh, it actually, real, it wasn't that hard. The, just the hard part was the taping and, um, you know, prepping work. But other than that, with the gun, you know, it probably took me 10 minutes per wall of the house. So it, it really wasn't a long time. It was just the prep work, the pressure washing, the taping, just closing all the windows, making sure everything was good before we went. And, uh, and the eaves um, on the top of the house, that was a little bit difficult because I had to get in there. And uh, a lot of, uh, you know, you just make sure every all the dirt's out and everything before you get it. So there, it wasn't really that hard, but there were a few things that I had to learn as I was going. I just hit the house with a pressure washer. It was a 1750 PSI pressure washer. So it's a light wash, um, nothing too crazy because too uh, heavy of a pressure washing will take off paint or and chip the house so you don't want to do that if you're painting the house i guess it really doesn't matter but you just want to avoid damages to the house and structure of the property so um just hit it with a 1750 psi electric pressure washer i'll link that down in the description you can check that out it's like i think like under 200 bucks on amazon super cheap super effective um especially for painting houses so you can get one of those um yeah you just hit it um and I'll actually show a video right now of what I was doing. Basically, you hit it from, with the soap, you get Dawn soap, it really doesn't matter. Um, I use Dawn soap. You hit it on the bottom first, and then you start slowly going up, right? Because you don't want to start at the top, go down, and then leave streaks. So you hit with the soap from the bottom, do a nice pattern all the way to the top, and then you hit it with the water from the top down because you want to be pushing all that dirt and soap down. You don't want to go from the top or from the bottom with the water up because you're going to leave streaks and dirt and it's just, it's not going to be as effective as a wash. Um, you want to just get all this stuff down. You're pushing it all the way down to the ground. If you're going to wash the house, um, definitely start with eaves first because I did it at first and I learned that um, when, you know, I hit the wall and then I hit the eave and then the eave all that water would drip down to the wall, so I had to redo the wall. So hit the eaves first, you know, get the top first. Once that all is finished, I just did one side of the house and then um, of the eaves, and then I went down to the wall because it's just gonna save a lot of time and actually money. Um, you're just gonna be at the job a lot less amount of time. So it will definitely help you out if you just start from the top with the eaves, then work to the wall. Okay, so yeah, hit it with the pressure washer, get it clean. The main goal, I mean, there's going to be dirt, especially because I live in California, kind of on the coast, so um, there's a lot of sand and like dirt that just gets kicked up. So you want to make sure all the sand and dirt kicked up, uh, that kicks up on the wall is off, all the uh, like spider webs and stuff like that. Get all that stuff off, and then once you have a relatively clean house, you're good to paint, and um, yeah, you can just start going, And but you do need to make sure everything's taped off. There's a lot of taping involved. I'll leave a link down below to the um, materials that we used. If you have the option between using paper and a uh, plastic to cover anything, definitely go with the paper. It might be a little bit more expensive, but the time it, it saves um, taping it 
is huge, especially if you live in a windy area. Um, in my area, wind picks up very quickly in the day, so the plastic would just, you know, we'd be taping it down and it would just be like rattling around crazy and sometimes they just rip off completely. So you don't want to do that. Um, the paper, however, is a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker material. You just roll it nice and easy, cut it off where you need it, and then tape it and it's super solid. Um, it stayed there the entire time. Didn't have any overspray or anything, but the plastic was a pain. I will leave it in the description if you want to check it out. If you don't live in a windy area, it might be good for you. I do, so um, paper was definitely a must. Uh, the plastic did not work for me at all. Get your paper, your masking tape, your paint gun, your pressure washer, and your paint, and it's really that simple. I will say, um, probably get a nice pair of sunglasses too, or some, you know, something to protect your eyes, and a face mask, uh, because I was getting paint all on my face, especially hitting the eaves. Definitely do that. Um, have something covering your face because it's not fun getting all your eyes and your mouth and your nose. So definitely hit, you know, have something covering your face. So the gun I used was, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Graco Magnum Airless Paint Sprayer. I, again, I'm going to link everything down in the description. I'll put, I'll put up a picture of it right now. Um, right now on Amazon, it's $424.66 with free shipping. So that's actually not too bad. It's a really good gun, actually. Super simple to use. Um, and it's definitely very effective. I think if I use something else, like the painting, the actual painting took maybe five hours of my time, maybe a little bit more. Um, but if I use something else, especially a roller, like a hand paint, um, if I use something else though, maybe even a not as good of a gun, it probably would have taken me a lot longer. So. I think investing the $424 is definitely worth it if you're going to do this as like a business um, and even just to have because you can use this this gun for many things. You can use it on a car, you know, a house, you can literally use it on anything you want to paint. So it's going to make your life a, a lot easier if you're going to be doing some painting uh, in the future. Now yeah, this is $424 so you know if you have a limited budget, I, w I would try to move things around to where you can get this gun because, like I said, it's going to make things way faster. So, you know, if, if you can invest the $1,000, I would put that in there because, you know, investing the 424 it's going to, like, the amount of time you would spend doing something else, is it would eat up all your profits. You would be making, like, a lot less money per hour instead of just having the gun, which makes it go so much faster. Okay, so yeah, I found the pressure washer that I have. It's called the Portland 1750 PSI um, electric pressure washer. I have this myself. It's really good, um, super easy to use, and it worked on a house. It worked on a house, a car, kind of worked on the driveway. You might need something a little bit higher for a driveway, um, but this thing is 124 bucks on Amazon with free shipping right now. So really not that bad at all. Um, that's actually less than I thought it was. I thought it was about 200 bucks. Um, and this one, it looks like this one comes with a soap attachment too, or you can just buy a bigger one too because that one is kind of small. But 124 bucks and you're good to go, you're in business, you know. So I'm gonna call it 1200 bucks to start up with because you got paint and, um, and you got tape and like paper and stuff. So really not that much money to get started in the business. So would I recommend anyone start painting houses? Um, I think that if you can do this on the side as like a side hustle or you know if like you're in my situation somehow that you know someone offers you money to paint their house and you're like a family friend or something yeah I'd definitely go for it it's relatively easy work you just throw in headphones and you're good to go um, but if you're doing this as a career maybe not so much because it is it's very time consuming and the money is not insane enough to where I would recommend it there's a lot of other things that you could do um, probably with less liability too, they will equal similar profits. All right, so that's all I got for you in this video. I hope this helped you with your painting venture um, or maybe just, you know, get an idea of the painting business and see if you want to do it. So again, I hope it helped you out. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.